Hi and welcome. In this lesson we're going to start working on a vector drawing for this um, logo for a salsa company, a specialty salsa company. Um, so we've brought in the um, sketch that we revised um, and uh, just updated and cleaned up in Photoshop. Uh, still very rough of course, uh, but um, this is about all I need to bring it into Illustrator. Um, I've, uh, you know, in years past I would take this this drawing here um, and make it super super tight, but there's no really there's no real need for me to do that. Um, I can adjust and do what I need to do in Illustrator, and uh, so I can get if I get this close, I'm I'm uh, I feel like I've got enough that uh, I can use it and work on it um, in Illustrator. So um, I'm going to go ahead though. Uh, normally uh, there are a couple different ways that we could do this. I could take this and um, essentially I could. Uh, just start drawing um, in Illustrator um, using the pen tool, and I don't I don't think I'm going to do that. I think um, um, you know I could basically just start you know going around this um, with just the pen tool and and get around it. But I don't think I'm going to get the um, I think it's going to be a little too stiff. So actually I don't know why I was clicking there because I'm not going to do it that way. Um, that's certainly the way that you could do it. I could uh, blow it up and get in there real tight and start drawing it. But I think it's going. I'm going to get there faster um, by using one of my favorite tools in Illustrator, and that's this blob brush. Um, you've got to set it up in a particular way, um, you know. And sometimes it doesn't work exactly um, as I'm hoping it does. But for the most part, um, works pretty good. I'm going to take down the fidelity of it um, to a little less than smooth. Um, you know, maybe I'm going to start, I'll start all the way with smooth, smooth and see if it, if it cuts off too many of the corners um, for the detail that I need, then maybe I'll, I'll uh, make it uh, further down here uh, towards the accurate. But uh, this will give me some nice smooth lines and I've got the pressure set. Um, I got a seven point, or excuse me, a nine point brush. I'm going to go ahead and take it all the way up to a nine point variation in the brush size from zero to the nine point. So we get that nice thick, thin kind of thing going on. And uh, these other things, you can, you can. I have this at tilt for the angle. Don't really need it. Um, we could basically turn that off. It doesn't really matter. It won't affect this drawing. Um, so I think we've got it set up the way we want. So we're going to use the blob brush, and uh, and draw this. Um, I don't know if I have the weight. Uh, whoops! I need the color. Let me get a color in here. So we'll go ahead and take it uh, to black, and uh, start drawing. Let's see if I have the weight that I want. No, it's. I need to go. Uh, I need a larger brush so I'm gonna just go back into the blob brush and maybe we'll put it up at about uh, let's say I don't know maybe 13 point and see how that works and we'll take the variation up that high too and let's zoom in a little bit here to to get it okay let's see what, we, what how it looks here now uh, I can pretty much start anywhere Now, I don't know that, oh, you know what? I'm gonna go backwards because I can tell that, that it, I think that tilt thing is affecting us. Um, so let's go into the blob brush and take the angle off. We'll just keep it fixed and say okay. And now use it. We should be good, let's see. Might be making, yeah, it's making this thing a little bit too, maybe a little too smooth. Let me just play for just a moment here, and I'll see if I want to change this a little bit. See, so what I'm doing, yeah, it, it's it's kind of dropping off too into. Uh, hmm. I'm gonna just go. Well, no, I think I think this this will work. So I'm gonna go ahead and just redraw this from here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn my uh, turn my uh, tablet, uh, or excuse me, my display, my drawing display as as I need to, and just try and get this reasonably close. And then we'll 
make some additional edits as, as we need to. Yeah, this, this seems to really um, give me a nice clean drawing. Now you gotta practice, I've had to practice with this, uh, this particular, this blob brush. Uh, it works great, but you've got to really see like right there, it, it, it does some funky things from time to time. It makes these little, sort of wants to go its own way sometimes. Let me just zoom in and see if that'll help us. Um, it's not exactly like you're a little bit at the mercy of this thing. It's cleaning up my lines here. Um, let's see, I think what we'll do is some of this interior stuff we will... Um, uh oh, let me see. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that other little piece right in here. Let's get this drawn. Little shadow area here. And fill that in. It does a pretty pretty nice job of of um Keeping a nice clean vector. We'll clean up some of these edges and stuff later, but for right now, we've got it. It's it's working out pretty good. Just got to get these little spots here in the hand area, the little knuckle areas. So maybe maybe I'll go in here and just make this maybe a uh, maybe about a four brush size, and um, see what we get there. See if we can get what we need in here. I might have to uh, play with it a couple. Let's see here. I will take it there, let's see. Yeah, that's working pretty well. Um, let's get a little shadow underneath here. And maybe this here. I don't want that to be so round. So I'll just take this out for a moment. Redraw that line. Matter of fact, I'll just draw this, this little chunk. Again, I want it to be a little more straight. So let's take this back up to the heavy line. I think we had 14, I believe it was. And make it 14 there. There we go. And oops. Hmm. No, it wasn't 14. That's the problem. Let's go. I think we had. Oh. <laughs> 44, we actually accidentally typed it in there. Let's go, let's go nine. And see what we got there. I think we'll just go here. And kind of wanted to and we can go in here and, and I'll probably just go ahead and edit some of this stuff. It'll be faster than trying to redraw it, to draw it perfectly in the first pass. I can just easily clean it up to get what I need very fast. So we'll just get it as close as we can. Generally, that's looking pretty good. Um, we'll do some touch-up. I might not even do the touch-up right now. I'll just go ahead and get this thing drawn here. Now, what, one thing that I see that I want to do is, I, I, I remember we're going to have a circle here, so um, I'm gonna, this, this piece is going to need to be inside that circle you can see here let me just zoom out for a second so this this bottom part of the blowtorch is going to be inside the circle and then the upper part of the blowtorch is kind of busting out of there so what i think i do i'll do is draw this the hand with this top part of the blowtorch as one piece and then draw the bottom part as a separate piece i think that'll be our best bet so um for right now um what i think i'll do is um let's see if this is all on We'll grab all of this stuff, and I think we're just going to go ahead and unify it. 
using the Pathfinder tool. A little unified, there we go. Okay, so now we got that. And um, what I want to do now is um, probably go ahead and just get these shadows right. Shadows the way that we want them. So now we're going to start uh, working on the interior of the glove. Um, several ways that we can do this. Um, and I'm going to just uh, do a way that I, I think will be um, to keep it uh, separated out. Um, weird things can happen when you start playing around in here, but um, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, show you or try a way that I've, I've used before that, that seems to work pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and just select all, and I'm going to use the Shape Builder tool, and I'm going to literally just click inside here. So now I've got this interior shape. So now I'm going to just click outside here, and you can see I've got this as a shape and this outside the line art as a shape as well. So I'm going to use the direct selection tool you can see there click in the center go back go right back here to the selection tool and I'm gonna cut it command X on a Mac so now I've cut out that middle part and I'm on here and I've I've labeled this piece line art right and so now I'm just gonna create a new layer and just bring this down here and uh, on this layer I'm going to command shift V paste that interior area back in there. Now, what I've done there also is you see um, is that um, because I have the, um, the layout on top of that layer, on top of this fill layer, you can kind of see through it so I can see my lines here, right? I can see where the rest of my shadows go because the layout is above that fill. So I can see through it and the layout, um, air, uh, the layout layer it has uh, the opacity turned down. If I click on it, I'm just going to go and show you that. Uh, the layout layer has the opacity turned down. And so um, so I can see through it. So anyway, so now I've got this on. I've got the fill on one layer. I've got the line, and we'll, we'll call this um, main fill or fill one, whatever you want to call it. So I've got that the fill and the line, okay? And then I've got our, our layout right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a... Um, uh, another uh, we're going to start doing the inside of this piece so I'm going to actually uh, lock this uh, the chunk that, that has our, our line on it so I've locked the line right so now all I can grab is this so now on this layer I'm going to uh, I don't need to really create another uh, layer for it I'm going to simply use our um, pen to our pencil tool excuse me we're on this layer the interior fill layer and we're just going to start drawing our, our lines again so let's get a stroke up here going and we probably want to, we can make it whatever color, but maybe to just see it better we can, I can do something here and just make it, you know, something like this, just so that we can see it better and I want to get it large enough that I can, there we go, pull it up into here, there we go. So now I can see it and I'm going to start creating my shadows. So now that I've got that, I can um, expand this and we'll have two separate parts. So I'm going to select all. Okay, so now I've got um, the interior fill and the strokes for this shadow selected. Object, expand, and there we go. So now all that's expanded. So now we're going to just zoom in and grab the parts we need for this. Basically put them together, build what we need with the Shape Builder tool. So there are a couple different ways that I can do this. I can go bring it to this side. I can do the shadow part, or I can do the, the interior part. Um, and we're going to do this in two steps, because we still need to build our highlight up here. So all I'm going to do is hold the Option key and get rid of this. Option key, get rid of that. And now we're on, on the interior here. So let's uh, join this piece with up here. There we go. So now I'm, I don't have the Option key held down, I just got the Shape Builder tool. So now that's all part, this is all one nice big chunk right there. And now I'm just going to join all these pieces together. Um, essentially what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to join it with this right here. So now I've pulled it into part of the mid-tone there. Just holding the shape, just using the Shape Builder tool, I'm going to grab all the parts there. All the parts here. Now it's all part of this. And just drag it in here and grab all these parts. So now I've got two colors. 
So now, if I click away, I got my shadow built, and I've also I also have, you know, this this piece built. So I'm going to go in here, um, and now we're going to work on select all. We're going to work on this shadow area up here. So I'm going to grab my pencil tool again, and I'm going to uh, let's see. I want to draw it a little bit differently than when we drew it before. Um, let's see. Let's uh, make it this color again, just so that we can see it better. And we'll start drawing with it. And there we go. And I oh, better turn that stroke up so we can see it well enough. Oops. There we go. Okay. So now I can do this. Bring that down into there. I think that looks pretty good. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to select all again, and we're going to just expand, object expand, these strokes here. So now what I can do is go back to the shape builder tool right there, and we're going to get rid of these pieces. Hold on down the option key, get rid of that get rid of that and now we're going to unify um, some of these pieces so I'm going to unify that to that so we're creating our um, our shadow or excuse me our highlight on the top part of this piece and that's going to be right here and here and here and here and there so now I've got that all as one piece that is a piece and now we're just going to make this part of the lower piece there we go this is part of that and now we have all the, the pieces that we need I got to take this away holding down the option key so now look I've got all my pieces ready to fill so now what I can do is I can literally just um, select these areas just grab them uh, let me zoom out let me zoom out for just a moment Okay, so now we will, um, let's zoom in just a little bit more here and pull this over and we'll start filling in these colors. So I'm going to go ahead and select this chunk and you know what, let's just fill it with something right now so we can see it better. Um, okay, we got that and so now what we want to do is we want to grab this piece, let's use the direct selection tool and grab this chunk. Hold down the shift key and let's see if we can grab this other chunk here. There we go. By the way, a faster way to do this if, if you want to, if, if you feel you need it, is use the outline mode and then you'll be able to see all these pieces, right? And uh, see what you're selecting. Um, but sometimes, you know, if you if you could, if you're better, you feel like you're better off to see the big blocks, then you can do that. I'll go back in here um, and unify some of these shapes here, like put this all in, in the one chunk of black, for example. But for right now, I'm just gonna, uh, do it like this. So now I'm going to fill this piece, okay, and we'll go up here and I guess we'll just even grab, we can even grab our uh, actual color here and we'll fill that with this. So now I've got all my parts, okay, and so now what I can do is I can come in here and select this chunk and put it in my, into this color, oops, into that color right there, and we've got what we need. So now, um, if you see that I, if I want to turn off the, um, the, uh, whoops, not that, I want to turn this off, you can see that we've got this, I've got to change this piece to the right color. Um, okay, we've got it selected and let's just go right here and make it that color. There we go. So now you can see that we've got pretty much um, everything um, done. We've got what we need. Um, and I will go ahead and uh, move to the next step we'll turn this back on and we will come in and uh, we might have let's grab that direct selection tool and there we go and I see what we've got I'm just turning off that stroke somehow it had a stroke in there let's grab this piece here and that side doesn't have a stroke let's see if we can grab that yeah we got a stroke there we just turn it off okay so now uh, maybe there's a what's it connected to Seems like there's another little stroke there. Let's see, what are you connected to? 
So what I can do, what I'll do is I'll go in with the outline um, um, version and just delete this. There's a little stroke there. We'll take care of that later. Uh, not important right now. So anyway, we've got my curves that I need and I'm gonna basically go back in now, uh, turn this back on and we're gonna create this piece. So uh, let's uh, zoom out and do that. Okay. Um, we'll start building this. I'm gonna actually go ahead and now that we've got this, we're gonna go ahead and um, lock some of this off. Let me just turn these off as well. Some of these, um, okay, got it. So now um, <clears throat> now that I'm zoomed out, I'm gonna go ahead and lock these off. Lock that, that fill off and lock this. Turn that off. There's our backgrounds. Turn all this back on. There we go. Turn this stuff back on. Okay. Okay. So now, so now I've got I've, I've got uh, everything that I need here. I've got all my parts and pieces, and I've got this locked off. So now what I'm going to do is just create another layer. <clears throat> and actually, I'm going to probably just pull it to the top so it's easier to see. Let's pull this layer all the way to the top, and we'll simply call it. Um, blowtorch or you know what just call it torch there we go and so now we're going to work on this piece um, and so all I'm going to do is I'm probably just going to go ahead and use a pen tool here and we'll just do it this way and <clears throat> bring it down to about right there and just go right here and flip it so now I've got this as a stroke um, so let's go into it and um, go over here to uh, our properties and take that stroke up to uh, whatever we think. I'm gonna get it up nice and large here. Yeah, that's about right there. And I think what we'll do is go into the stroke and turn that corner right. And uh, might need to go a little bit larger on the stroke. By the way, you can click in there and use the up arrow and just keep bringing it up to the size that you want. That looks pretty good. So now I'm simply going to go to Object and uh, Expand. And there we go. So now I've got that piece, that component. And if I want to check it out, how it looks with the hand, I can just drop it behind there and kind of see where I want to align it and everything. Let's pull it over about right in there. And um, I'm going to do a couple, let me see, where are we going to have this? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm not sure I like actually this angle, so I'm gonna I'm gonna actually change the angle now that I've got it here. Let's change this angle just a little bit. I like it to be a little more like that. And pull this up into there. So we're making modifications to the original sketch, right? <clears throat> As we see fit. And um, so I think we're good there. So I'll leave that alone. And so now we're gonna just draw this little piece very simply. Just we'll just throw a, another layer on top. And um, just use our, our pen tool again. A bunch of different ways we could do this, by the way. I could just I could use a rectangle and and modify the rectangle as well. Matter of fact, let's just do that so you can see the different options. And again, I'm not I'm not trying to show you all the options in the absolute way to do you know uh, everything that you need to do here. You can if there are ways that you have that are faster for you or that you've learned that that you like better, go for it. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just I'm just going to show you some options here. Let's zoom in here. And I guess I'm going to flip this and turn it into an outline so I can see it better, just for now. Um, and uh, so I'm going to take each of these points and with the direct selection tool, just grab a point, pull this up to where I want it, um, select this one, pull it down to where I want it, and grab this one and pull it over here, about there. I might want to go up a little higher with these. There we go. And this one about right in there. So now I've got that, and I'm just going to go ahead and fill this with just white for now. Okay, so now I've got that, and um, I think we've got this as an outline. Let's just go ahead and, and while we're here, make this outline our black color. And there we go. And I think we'll, if we like the way it looks, um, I don't think I'm going to round this off at all. I think I'm going to keep that sharp edge to it. Uh, going 
I think that looks pretty good. Uh, let's, uh, let's see how thick we want it. That's about right. Maybe we go up a little thicker. Let's go up to 13, or 15, 16. Looks pretty good. Okay, so, so now I'm gonna, since I have that, I'm going to go ahead and just expand it. And now we've got that as an as an outline or as a, as a fill color. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here because we need this. We want to have this outlined. I'm going to try one thing right here. I think we want to round that off a little bit. There we go. So what I did is I just selected that the point and um, uh, dragged it so that uh, it wasn't a sharp edge there. Um, and so now we've got this nice and rounded. Looks good. So now I want to select that and basically give it a stroke as well, and we'll make it our black and make the stroke. I don't know. Well, I guess we're going to go up to the 15 again, right? Uh, I think we did 16. There we go. Okay. So now that we've got that, we got that in black, and we've got the fill color of uh, that gray up there on the top. We're probably going to make this. We're going to break this into two pieces and have the top part. Um, in um, metal, essentially, and have the bottom part down here um, as kind of a hose color, maybe red. I don't know. We'll do something down here. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll be, be cutting this later. A couple things I can do is I can make two parts, which is what I believe I will do now. So we'll just go ahead and split this in half. A bunch of different ways we can do that as well. Um, I can even go ahead here and uh, once we expand this stroke, um, Let's go ahead and expand it now. And we will say, get a selected object, expand, and there we go. So now we've got that expanded, this expanded, and it's all working well. So now I'm gonna split this piece in, in half. Notice I've got this locked. So, I mean, I can do a million things. I can just go here and I can just expand it. Uh, I wouldn't get, don't wanna get too tricky with it, but see now I've, I've broken this up into two pieces. And so now I can select this piece down here separately and fill that with a different color. And I'm going to go ahead and use, um, let me zoom out a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use our red color. Zoom out a little more. And grab our little, you know what, let's bring this palette down here a little bit. There we go. So now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab that, this interior piece here, and simply fill it with our red color. So now we've got that. Okay, by the way, the reason you're seeing through all this, remember, is that I have our, I have my outline turned on above these colors so I can see my lines. Uh, that's why I'm leaving it like that. Um, and so let's go ahead and let's continue on. Let's do this um, uh, flame over here. Um, I guess I can go ahead and um, divide this out if I want, if I wanted to, because uh, I'm going to make that uh, maybe have a little highlight-ish kind of thing going on here. Uh, let's see. Let's just do our detail work here first okay so I have this and we basically grab this piece and I'm going to select all of this oops let's grab this piece I'm just gonna select all this okay and I am going to Cut it, and I'm going to paste it on. I'm going to grab a new layer because I'm going to need to move this around. So I'm going to put this below the torch, and I've targeted this layer 11. There's the torch layer, and I'm going to make call this hose, and we're just going to paste it right in place. So now it's on its own layer. So now I can deal with this separately from the top part of this piece. I can deal with it separate from that. So now that I've got that, I'm going to go in here and just. I'm going to take a rule right here and just pop that rule in there. You know, maybe let's do it a different way. Let's, uh, let's just use our pen tool and go here. And let's see, where do we want to start? We want to start about right up in here. And right here. So now I can fill this with, I want to fill it with a little bit, sort of like a shadow of the red color. And there we go. So now I've got the shadow of the red color. And I'm going to zoom in here. And we're just going to select it all. And I'm going to use my 
shape builder tool real quick and I'm going to um, make it part of this there we go and now I just want to select that and make it make this part black there we go and this piece take the stroke off there we go nice and clean we got a nice shadow there um, for the back side of that so now we will move up and work on this uh, nozzle part here a bunch of different ways we could do that as well um, it's already got a black stroke so and it's got the fill so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the blob brush and uh, take that and uh, maybe we'll make it well I guess we don't even need to do that we don't need to make it smaller it'll still work let's get what I need here using the blob brush and fill get that little shadow for us so there we've got that and I think we'll go over here and I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I think I might just use some. Um, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to use the curve there. I think I might use some straight lines or straight uh, shadows. So a chunk of the darkest gray, and then the mid tone, much like we did this. Okay. Uh, what I do want to do is, is change this out here. I want to get a selection there uh, that we can. Modify. So let's let's deal with that. Let's go in here and let's just create. Matter of fact, let me go back and go out here a little further. Turn this corner a little bit right here, right there, right there, and uh, let's go here and there. Okay. So now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and fill that with uh, our medium. Color. We'll take the outline off, fill it with our medium color. Let's go over here and grab that. Actually, we're going to fill that bottom part with the shadow of color. So we'll take that right here. Let's close this out. And we do not need a stroke on that. Okay, so now we got that. And we can um, essentially bring this. front and we can also bring this piece to the front if we want need to do that object arrange bring to front okay so now we've got that color in there now we just got to make this piece to be our lighter color or let's see do we want mid-tone uh, probably want maybe we want the highlight color in that let's let's use the highlight color there we go okay so now uh, let's just slide over here and we'll take care of this flame real quick and then I think I'm gonna I'll start speeding things up here uh, as well uh, but let's let's do the flame real quick um, so let's take our pen tool So um, I think I'm going to um, continue to uh, 
fill this and um, get this thing colored um, and I will um, speed it up here uh, just a bit um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna use some play around with some colors here but I won't uh, uh, drag this out I'll, I'll start uh, filling it in may speed everything up and come back with uh, most of this stuff completed so I'll be right back uh, once I've got some of these other parts filled in we'll just speed her up okay so we're back and I've got everything filled in and, and pretty much you know this thing is completed and I just want to go back over it just really quickly to show you uh, I don't want to make this super super long it's already getting pretty long but I wanted to just show you kind of how some of these things were built actually quite simple um, so for example this piece in here um, I've got a copy over here we'll take a look at but it's it's really pretty simple um, just created uh, grab the um, the star tool and uh, made a star with you know many many points on it got something I liked and then I outlined it you know with a, a thick outline I could you know I could have filled this a bunch of different ways but I if uh, if I didn't have the outline it didn't it didn't show the um, the uh, border of this um, burst the way that I wanted to it was it just kind of fell off into nothing and I wanted to have that you know this kind of thing going on so you could really make it more graphic so I outlined it with this and just filled the center of it let's take a look real quick over here of what I what I built with that I just grabbed it and copied it over here so here's what we got pretty simple you know so I've got a stroke around this thing um, going all the way around it and then I've, I've filled the inside of it um, with um, uh, let me see here so I've got uh, the orange on the outside and then a, a, a yellow, lighter yellow, all the way to white in the center and just played around with, you know, just played around with this until I got something that I liked with a radial blend, right? And filled it with that and then just a stroke. And then in the background here is just simply an orange, an orange circle. And this is grouped, but it's just simply an orange circle behind it. And so that's all it is. And uh, I have this filled, but I didn't really even need it to be filled. It was just an orange circle. Um, so, so that's all I use for the center inside here and just pasted it behind, right? And then um, took this piece, our, our overall um, shape, this, this overall shape here, and made a copy of it, right? Just made a, a copy of this um, with the hose, I guess, all the way down. And then um, made, unionized it, <laughs> unionized it, <laughs> unioned it in the Pathfinder tool right here, made a union. Of that of my copy sent it to the back and put a stroke around it in kind of a it's not that's not actually white it's kind of a very very light yellow color uh, is what that is and I just popped that behind there so that our black outline stuff would pop into the front and then these are just obviously just a um, selection of, of circles just layered on top of each other with different strokes around them and building it up the way that you know that I thought looked good uh, black in the center um, obviously uh, uh, this this piece here is just an extension it's just a stroke around this flame and then another a copy and a stroke around this flame and then I just combined it with the outlines and made them the same width okay um, and then the final thing is uh, I, I made sure of course that this black is the same as that black and then the final thing is just putting type on a circle so we just move this um, the type on a circle and I think I still yeah I saved it here so we've got the type already on a circle so I created two circles by the way because this is a smaller um, obviously smaller size right and this is larger so I created two circles so that the um, this could follow one baseline and the other one uh, this is following the top part of the baseline I think it's following the descender and this one is following the uh, the baseline so that we could center get get them both centered in the middle of the circle and then I just turn these to outline by clicking here going to type create outlines and there we go and uh, and then I'll, I'll basically add my TM and, and whatever same with this down here just uh, so I don't have issues with type later get what I like and, and then we leave it there so now we've we've got everything we need so um, this is the uh, this is the logo that we're gonna present to the client um, we did have the other uh, logo uh, I don't know if you recall that I'm gonna try and just pull it in here just to remind uh, you of uh, what we had with that is we had another version of the logo uh, which the client um, decided they, they didn't want uh, to use. I thought it was kind of a nice sketch and as I said before I thought it would be a cool illustration but maybe it wasn't. I don't think for logo it was the right thing but I'm gonna pull it in here. Just copy it and paste it in here to show you. Um, no, brought it in pretty large. Let's take this down. So uh, let me see here. We'll just select it 
and scale it down. Okay, so um, so this was the other version that we had worked on in our original sketch. Um, and that just wasn't going to work uh, for them. They just liked this better. It had just, just more impactful. And so we didn't end up needing to do this one. But I may use that for, for something else. So sometimes, like I say, I'll, I'll do a project and I just know I've got something that's working and show it to the client. And they're like, yeah, let's not waste time doing a bunch of versions. I like this one. And, and that's literally what they said. Hey, we, we like... They like this version up here with the close-up version of the blowtorch, and this one wasn't going to work, so we just didn't do that one. So they like this one. This is uh, the one that um, they decided to use. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup uh, to this, um, and then uh, we're pretty much ready to go. So thank you for watching this lesson, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.